Taroki is going to head past him, and oh, maybe they can make this happen for Ev, pulling him back in. The hoof stomp is there as well as the double edge. A couple more right clicks, and Yapsor is going to draw that first blood. Yeah, it's a solo kill on the support too, but it does get them the tower. Can he steal the split? Yep, oh, he got it! it. Yapsor with the plays now ends up turning it back against my control and with Pharaoh here as well. They should be able to run down this Brewmaster. Very unfortunate turn of events there. Okay. I could have just not seen it because I was, didn't want to miss the kill in mid as it looks like they're going to have the initiation come out and on to Ferev, a hell of a lot of damage. Kuroki as well, dropping down that ulti. Fata looking for a little bit of a counterplay now. They are going to be able to get out for a moment on Adam as the chase continues. Shadow bladed up. That is going to be a kill. Curl going down. Yapsor making the plays and, well, going for the Requiem, canceling out. They needed to spell magic. It is going to finally fly. Another kill goes back the other way, but it looks like Fata was able to escape at least for the moment all the uh, AoE damage that there is on the Liquid side. Oh, this is looking a little bit scary. Miracle coming in for now. A couple right clicks for Ev taking the damage. Kuroki as well with the ulti down. They get the time lapse back in away, but Fata still able to take him down. And somehow that initiation ends up turning back into the way of bears. Liquid maybe a little bit out of position right now. They do have the Primal Split if they want to turn around and use it. Miracle slowed down by the dust. Tries to go over like a night stomp by Ferev to cancel that one out. And Yapsor is going to end up being brought down by Matumba Man. GH trying to back out and away. They kill down Yapsar in return, though. Excuse me, Matumba Man in return, though, as Ferev has found him. Adam now is trying to get chased. Firo oh so low, and it looks like my Control is going to be able to escape. They're actually going to threaten the high ground here, not necessarily thinking they can take a Rax, but more so than anything, they want to force Liquid back to defense. Oh, Yapsar, he pulls back in. GH in some trouble brought down. They were able to... Pull back in mind control and Kuroki, but now threatening high ground and Liquid just don't have an answer. There's too much damage right now and I mean they're gonna go for a split push on the bottom lane and Matumba Man Miracle doing a lot with that. But it's feeling like they might end up losing too much. Oh my god, Firo taking no prisoners at all. Kuroki able to Ghost Scepter to keep himself alive, but with that buyback, everybody TPs out in a way. That is a melee barracks down, though, as they're going to end up fighting down here on the bottom lane. Requiem of Souls comes out, not able to kill off Rev. Miracle ends up dropping the grave, keeping that centaur alive. And oh, they, they have the, the ward down. Not you know about this, though. He does go in. There's the stampede backing out and away. The initiation a little bit off the mark, but they have found the hex on him. A tumble man. They drop him down. Miracle also going to end up being revealed here as he tries to turn onto that Rubik. Requiem of Souls comes out. Mind control as well with the initiation. They find that kill. Ferev going to get ran down and brought down. Double for Miracle. And with the buyback, they're looking to see if they can find a bit more, but can't take down Adam. Getting a little testy there. So. Liquid want to fight now that the Aegis has expired. Oh, they have that initiation. They jump immediately there onto GH, but meanwhile on the back lines, they're going to try and find this. Firo BKB popped as well, and Matumba Man is in the midst of all of it, trying to right clip, get some control. Yapsor is going to be down. Now Kuro also able to control up Adam. That ulti is going, and now they explode Requiem of Souls. Takes on down that OD Ferev in a hell of a lot of trouble. They're going to be able to run him down as well. Four people go down. No buybacks necessary for that one. With the DD, he wants to get some damage out. Very scary situation indeed. They have the BKB pop for Fata. Keep on going in with the right clicks. There's the hoof stomp initiation though. Miracle going to be Ghost Scepter alive, but no! They get the damage imp out and the city's Eclipse doing too much. But Tumba Man, BKB, he tries to turn and fight Fata. Graved and kept alive. There's the lift up now from the Bruce split for Ev. Going to be controlled. Can they kill off all of these heroes before OD comes back down? Now the turn four staff out. Trying to escape for Ev is still going to be controlled and well, stunned for the moment as the pandas still doing their work. It looks like it's going to be it, though. They lift up Yapsor. He's in the air as Miracle comes back in, trying to kill them off. Nice cheese eaten, and Miracle kind of in no man's land now, in a lot of trouble. Is, are going to be able to kill him off, though. Went a little bit too aggressive. Another Ghost Scepter comes out to keep alive at Miracle as Ferev double edge everything being thrown up against him. They get the kill. No buyback. Two minutes gone. Matumba Man trying to save the day, but can it even happen? Ferev stealing away all that life from my control. Adam trying to walk away. He is going to be able to escape Ferev. Gets caught there in that Sands Eclipse. They are going to end up losing this. Another one goes down. Another buyback. Matumba Man, another Ghost Scepter, trying to walk away from this desperately and jumps back in. In fact, Ferev, last second grave. Adam staying alive. Oh, God, they've done it. I think that might just be about it. 90 seconds. Yep. No Shadow Fiend. No carries at all. Slark, his buyback is gone as well. There is no defending without them. Great initiations.
This is the first time Liquid have picked Meepo with this roster. This could be the outdraft Liquid needed to take it to a game three. Well, it certainly doesn't start by getting impaled here as he is going to get hit. A couple more right clicks. The arrow is not going to connect. And it looks like Forever actually is maybe going to be the one that ends up going down. A good heal bomb comes through and poof a little bit off the mark. But Kuroki draws first blood. Still a very passive early laning stage. And it feels like, up top. Are they actually going to get him here? He's looking to He's go forward for Adam. And, well, this is a lot of damage down on top of that Rubik who... Oh, because they actually are going to be able to get this turn back around. They have Kuroki there to heal him back up, but Fairy Fire, not going to be enough. But it does look like Fairy's going to end up going down somehow. The power shot comes through. They take down Kuroki. A double kill for Fata. He's got the sentry nearby, but four of his just out of range. He walks in now. Yeah. Fatu knows. Yeah, they got the shrapnel stolen from Matumbo Man. Turn it back around. The impale a little bit. Oh, no, they are going to actually throw it out there finally. But Miracle is shown back up. Goes on to Firo. That's going to be one going down. Flame Break pushes back at him. They control him as well. And the crutch on to Fata in some trouble. Come here, says Batrider. And they take him down. The continued theme for this bear's draft running right into miracle here oh they have a dd up on the bear on the bear as well they're gonna try and jump through do as much as they can miracle dropping low oh he gets graved though and they're not gonna be able to bring him down the three person crush they end up hitting the arrow onto gh adam trying to turn it back around they are going to be able to bring down miracle huge kill though but how much is it going to cost him gh trying to chase after Firo. it's not going to be able to be a kill it looks like Fareb is going to go down here though as well, they take down two on the other side as they've run down mind control. That's a great timing. No Aegis. You know you can get him. Can they get Matu as well? So, oh, oh, Fata double looking. Double shackle as well. Power shot to boot. They take him down. Although they scout the ward being planted with that sentry there, so they know exactly where Liquid are, but it doesn't oh. look like they can easily get out. Adam, they pull back in Yapsor, but that's a pretty good turnaround. Is it going to be enough, though? They're starting to bring down Miracle. An Impale hits onto absolutely everybody. Forev is still going to drop for that, so three die in just under about four seconds. And that sling crash from GH. Oh, they also able to hit a shackle looking for the arrow, not going to connect. The towers are still going to take a lot of damage. Miracle dropping somewhat low. This would still be the Aegis, but while this is happening, Lone Druid doing what he does best. They're going to be able to lift him up. Mind control. Can they take this fight? A good impale. Connect through. They burn through the Aegis. All right, Miracle's down once. Can they do it again? Arrow on the mark. Nicely played there. They get the spike carapace turn turnaround, and well, Rubik has also stole the crush. GH is going to get grave then. Uh, it's still a lot of damage to burn through for Miracle. They need to get a good stun off the land from the telekinesis. Was able to get through the wind run slow as well. Miracle's starting to drop low. They are going to be able to get that fill. Also controlling Matumpa Man. The right click starting to go, and they are also going to be able to run down Kuro. A great combination. And they only end up losing from that, I guess, the range barracks? Or range, yeah. It's fine. As far as mobility goes, you don't need three seconds to that through. Oh, oh my god. Matu. Really oh, nice initiation. The counterplay there comes out. They're going to be able to control up Yaps or Miracle on top of them. Matumba Man starting to deal the damage, but they actually have a way to get out. The Ghost Scepter working in spades. Yaps or is going to be brought down, and well, there's the initiation. They come in onto Fata, but they do not have the damage as of yet. Buyback up online. For Marana, 40 seconds away. They're going to go for the glyph. Firo getting initiated on. Able to seal Corrosive Haze back away. Ferev gets the impale off. Power shot. Nice grave. Keeping him alive for the moment. Arrow is going to go through. Does They're not back. connect on anybody. Matumbo Man is going to go down. Ferev finds him. Now looking for more. They're going to be able to chase this in just a second. Can they control Miracle? They throw out the Hex and trying to get out and away. No, but they get the Savage Roar. Miracle is going to go down yet again. Three heroes dead for Liquid. They did lose a melee Rax. Moonlight Shadow into this Radiant Jungle. Oh, they found Miracle yet again. They're on top of him. Fata starting to drop low. Needs to leap out just a second, but Earthbind is keeping him there. That is going to be the Aegis down, but they take down Miracle. 90 seconds. Both teams will be playing without buyback for this upcoming fight. Assuming the Meepo uses his to defend, which I think will become a necessity. But you want to buy back off of an initiative. Whoa! The Tumbo Man up in the air. They actually pull back in forever, though, and GH already down. So that's one going down. Oh, Mind Control oh, also in trouble. Meepo. They're doing a ton of damage, Shrine or no Shrine. They need to be careful. Oh my goodness, backing out again. They're going to focus down the barracks, but Firo, the lone druid right clicks. Oh, that, that bat surviving on such low HP. They're going to give up the racks for now. Preserving that oh so important Nepo buyback. Oh, the arrow four staff away though. Oh, good play right there. Kuroki, or rather, excuse me, mind control. Radiance saving a sniper. And now turn on. It's still 20 seconds with no Meepo. They have another spike carapace so they can, can control my very man. Well, though. Look how low Firo is. He can't get assassinated because of the Lincolns though. Here just spamming out against the tower. They need to be careful of their wraparound. That's what mind control is doing over here as well. GH 
Ends up Here not getting caught, but Matumbo Man does. The power shot follow-up. Are they thinking to go on this? The Impale connects onto two. Oh no, it all started with an arrow, and it might end up turning back around. Fata takes down Kuro, trying to focus now on a miracle. He is dropping low, but Fata also is gonna end up dropping low. He is going to die. Buyback is there, but they also take down Meepo. Oh no. Ooh, they get the high ground board now. Yeah, this is a good one. Not on to Matumbo Man, and they force staff him out. Great play. That we get the great, but I'm not sure if it's going to end up being enough. And they throw out the flame break. It is going to end up being one kill onto Adam Frev. Also going to go down, but that was Where's Matumbo Man dead. I feel where Liquid have the late game advantage because BKB Lasso late game as uh, initiation is incredible. Well, they throw out a shackle, not going to connect on a miracle. And Tumbo Man just gets eviscerated though. Forev trying to run out back and away, and now uh, it's still a lot of damage coming out from the lone druid. Miracle Ghost Scepter comes out to keep him alive, just barely able to escape the Absor. Not quite there in time with the power shot, and now. And yeah, almost to the point where they're going to be in the lead. If Matumba Man or GH gets caught out here right at the start, Hello. Arrow for Vision. Trying to find it. They're able to find Stop off the one. Up. The initiation comes out. Yaps were taking a ton of damage. He is going to end up going down. No, able to walk away, but he ends up falling in the end to the DOT. Fata turning down, trying to take down another. Jeez, Three are you. already dead. Fata in a lot of trouble now, trying to back out and is going to fall. Four go down liquid with the team fight win. Okay. Whether or not he'll give up his buyback for it, we'll wait and see, but. Oh, setting up for a big initiation. Yeah. Adam is going to be there. They do get the stun onto him. So much damage. But Tumbleman gets the BKB off as well. And now Miracle's on top of him. Looking for more. They pull Firo. back in Firo. He is going to go down. Buyback is available. Rubik trying to... Well, he's already dead. And they get the crush on Yapsor as well. He's going to drop. Double from a Tumbleman. And that's two heroes without buyback. 100 seconds, no Wind Ranger. And just to try and use their numbers advantage here. Fada pushing out the bottom lane, but realistically, he's not going to win a throne race. Could set up the Lone Druid yeah. to TP in, though. This may be the play for Bears. Will they go for the base race? There's definitely a possibility for it. And, well, Lone Druid, they're getting into position. Firo is going to head out. They can also have a great TP canceller there. In the Nyx, they jump forward, crush onto the bear. They, if they were going to do it, they got to go now. But it looks like they instead want to try and fight this miracle. Already taking a lot of damage. Firo right click and MGH goes in on top of him. But KP pop the right clicks coming through. They are going to lose Firo. Buy back immediately. Fata dealing the damage over here to the side and trying to take him down. Miracle so low. They can't kill him off though. And Kuroki also going to live. Everybody's still left alive. Can they take down this miracle? Meepo, there's the right clicks. There's the stun. And there is the Aegis. Meanwhile, over to the side, Matumba Man takes down the Nyx as well. What? He was still over here. Okay. There's the Savage Roar trying to take him down. They do find that kill at the very least. Now, Mind Control lifted up. There's the arrow as well. Connects onto him. So they take down two. Yeah, they've been looking at him the whole time. Batten wants to buy back ASAP. And then Meepo wants to hold on to his. But if you can hold both, that's even better. And with a. Initiation. They've got him caught there. The arrow not going to end up going out. Fata taking a lot of damage and is actually going to be able to find that kill. Rapier on oh the ground. Yeah, oh and that's boy. going Satanic. pretty close to bad. Firo I'm going trying. to drop. They kill off another. And that could just be about it. GG is called as well. Liquid, they end up winning the Meepo game. It's going to push us to a game number three. But Bears... Looking spectacular. Like. Well, it is going to be the Lycan. The first Fuck professional yeah, game. Go. What's happening bottom? Firo, you're getting very close. Uh, Kuro. Kuro Frostbite, oh. he's got it. They walked back in. Sunstrike. Oh. He's going down. First blood, GH. Good start. Through master pressure. And Yapsor in the mid lane. Going to take a good bit of damage. They're going to run in with Matumbo Man after the fact. Sunstrike is going to be on the mark. And now chasing Firo a little bit as well. Mind control in the area. Everybody suddenly here. Frostbite going to break the TP. Firo in a lot of trouble. Stampeding, running away. There's the lift up. The Bruce Bolt was already committed for this. And Forev also in the area. They're trying to break this up. But Chase Kithnadius, the right clicks are there. There's the Illuminate for the kill. GH picks it up. Now throwing up in the air the Centaur as well. This team fight is going terribly for Bears. Miracle is going to get the Ghost Walk out. Running out and away. Mind control controlled and going to die. But they're still throwing out more damage. GH lifted up in the air. The stun comes through as well with the charge. And finally, we get an end to the cacophony. Sunstrike hits him. Times the kill on Adam. Miracle, the magic man. He's doing it Is again. That what? That what's still there? 
They're looking uh, for it. Tough. Uh, going for the it. Initiation. Got They've got him. There's the initiation with oh, the double edge by Firo. Ended up stunning oh. himself. Adam still looking. Tornado save last second. There's going to be the deafening blast pushback. And meanwhile, mid lane in some trouble. Sunstrike looking. Not going to hit. But they're hitting the tower in the mid lane. Heels coming out from GH as well. Matumba Man. Recall number two. Oh, did they actually break the TP? Did they break that TP of... They don't have the Centaur here for this fight. They broke his TP. Miracle is now in there. Firo trying to get back. They're going to stampede it out. And well, another Illuminate spam should be able to keep Matumba Man alive if they want to turn it back around. Rooted. Miracle. Still in trouble. They pushed him back up to the high ground. There's the Savage Savage Oh, oh the, the stun, stun for Ferev. They get the follow-up stun. The damage is coming out so much. Matumba Man able to back out in a way very, very low. Can they get the heals? They end up killing him. A Stole double for Yapsor. Oh, man. That was gorgeous. And in the meantime, they have the ulti that comes out from the Panda, which is going to be able to turn this back around somewhat. But oh, he might end up dying himself. Nice blink out in a way. This is going to be a self-stun for Ciro. Yeah, he's got no targets. And Miracle... Has a combo ready to go. Is he going to get the other kill? Pharaoh, the chemical rage is on cooldown. Another great blinding light and spirit breaker. Adam in all sorts of trouble. Savage Roar saved their life right there, but they still managed to take down that spirit breaker. Carnage in the middle lane as every freaking person died, pretty much. But another stun on a miracle. They can't really finish it up, though. It does look like Liquid happy to slowly siege and chip away at this one. Just use the Ford Spirits, the Alacrity. Bam on Miracle. Lycan's not even really committing too much for the high ground. He's happy just to let the summons do most of the damage. Perhaps with this heal backing him up, he will go in with the Howl. But there's the stun, just throwing him down. Nice oh, blinding light. Out of forward. there. There's the big combination as well. Tornado lift up a hell of a lot of damage. Fata as well as Yapsor going down. Miracle, the magic man with a triple kill. Looking for a bit more. Can they take down Firo? They're going to throw out the EMP combo. But Tumba Man a little bit low. Firo out of mana, out of time. There is the lift up onto the Centaur immediately. He is not able to get the counter initiation play. Ferev wanted it badly, and well, Rubik stole split. This might be the way back into it. Able to stun on the top of Manfiro, looking for a bit more. Another great lining light. GH trying to chase. They are going to be able to find him and get that kill, but Matumba Man's still out and away. Aegis not expired. They're trying to find that kill, but they couldn't quite get him. The send back. Twice. Yeah, this would be Archie's a big one. Caught. Yep, that's one death and. Not sure if Miracle can save him. He's going to go for it. Oh, the time. Meatball drops down, but it's not quite enough. There is the lift up, so maybe going to be able to get him out of there. The Deputy Blast goes out as well. Miracle Ice Wall not going to be able to get him. Triple kill for Fata, and Miracle just going to be able to get recalled out. As far as Axe go, Rubik is not bad, but I think this Rubik is just too squishy. Uh, as we'll miracle? see, Miracle. Miracle. Going uh, deep for this one. Expected okay. that he was just going to be able to find it, and well, that I is not the play. Drink. Definitely. Maybe a little bit unfortunate for the team that he does have that extra item slot at this point, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd rather he's six-slotted, but... <laughs> work with what you got. Well, up and forward, mind control, hitting away onto these barracks, or tower, rather, Yapsor. Gets the pullback in. Firo going to follow it up. Mind Control eats the cheese. Oh, he is going to be able to live through this one, at least for the moment. Has the Bruce split still if he wants to use it. And meanwhile, bottom lane, they're getting split push here. Matumba Man making it work, and they're pulling them back and forth across the map. Such a frustrating game to play right now as Fata forced down their bottom, and now they're going to turn forward. They've been able to stun up Firo for the moment and trying to look for more. Oh, Forev, he couldn't get it off. He is in trouble now, and... Well, with bottom the Bruce split going, they're gone bottom, they're gone top. But Tumble Man is going to end up dropping for this, but that's just the Aegis. And now, up here in the top lane, Firo left completely alone. He is going to end up going for the stun in just a second. Miracle able to get out and away and well, able to pop the BKB before the stun hits him. Looking for more for Miracle. Fata on top of him. The right click's coming through. They have the death stun as well. Ice Wall going to be able to keep him, but now the charge comes through from the Spear Breaker. Yapsor looking for more stolen stampede. They lift up onto Kuro to break that ulti. And oh my god, he cold snaps. <laughs> Blinks back away, Adam in some trouble. They're gonna take him down. Oh no, and now the f everything goes out. GG gets called. They can't hold Liquid. They end up taking it in the end. Every single game of this series was fantastic.